Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to solve what I'll call a negative grade of about 15 to 20 feet. And of course, there's no gravity that's going to work, you know, against that grade. What we need to do is start with the discharge line. This is going to be from this curb all the way down the hill to the back of this house. In the back of the house, of course, there's no drainage at all. So we've got to move that water all the way up the hill and out to the street. Using a trencher is really by far the best way to install these drains. Yes, you could dig by hand or you could rent an excavator, but the trencher is so fast and so quick. The cleanup time is half of all of the other. Trencher is the best way to go. You can actually see how much negative grade there is as you watch me disappear down the hill using the trencher. And I mean, we're really lifting this water. We're going to put our sump pump to the test, lifting it 15 to 20 feet and pushing it about 80 feet out to the street. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, now is a really good time. Go ahead and click that bell and subscribe to the channel. You know, we show you so many projects, so many installs that I promise you that you'll learn how to do this and you can do these jobs yourself. Okay, let's walk down the hill and I'll show you where the problem actually is. The guys are cleaning out the trench here in the front, but we need to go back here in the back where we're going to do all the collection of this water. Notice the yellow line. That is gas. Always call 811 and locate your utilities before you dig. Okay, we're out here in the back and you can see the muddy mess. It actually just rained the night before and you can see how much water's in this yard. We need to put a catch basin back there in the back and bring that gravel perforated pipe called the French drain over to the sump basin. And then we're going to lift it up and send it all the way out to the street. Digging the sump basin when it's muddy is just that. It is a muddy mess. But you can do this and you just take your time. Be prepared to get some dirt on you because you're going to get dirty. But once we have the system installed, there will be no more flooding back here in the backyard. Sometimes we perforate the pit and we are here because we're putting this basin right beside the foundation of a home that has been flooding for many, many years. Water rises up so high here in the backyard and the new own owners have decided they're going to solve this problem. That's what we're out here to do. We're going to hook up that downspout, gravel perforated pipe from that catch basin over to the sump basin. Sump pump will lift it up and send it out. Inside the sump basin, you can see we've got the French drain coming in on one side. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a downspout drain that we attached also to the sump basin. And finally, we have the discharge line that's sending this water from the pump all the way up the hill to the street above. With a good reliable pump, we're using a Zoller M98, half a horsepower, and it can easily keep up with the flow of this water in the backyard. And we're gonna send it up the hill, solving that negative grade of 15 to 20 feet and help keep this backyard dry. It seems like I've been saying a lot in some of these more recent videos, collection and discharge collect the water and then you discharge the water so we've collected all that water in the backyard and we put it into the sump basin the sump pump is our discharge we send that all the way out here to the street and you can see it this is where it belongs so remember why we're doing all of this number one reason was there was a flood in the backyard but the second reason was that that footer that foundation of the home there on the corner was having some serious flooding problems. By collecting the water, bringing it to the sump basin, and sending it out to the street, we solved two problems at the same time. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.